So in this video, I'm gonna introduce you to the Insomnia REST client and explain why I've started to bring that into my exploratory testing process for REST APIs. Now you can find Insomnia online. It's free to download. It's an Electron app, so it'll run on Windows and Mac. Same as Postman. Postman's an Electron app. Now I've been using Postman for a, a while. I, what I like about Postman is it's got collections. I can create requests. Um, it's very easy to do, um, make them data-driven, run them through a collection runner, all that kind of stuff. And Postman has got features just coming out of its ears. You just stumble across features you weren't expecting. But there's one thing that annoys me about Postman, which is feeding it through a proxy. Postman now goes through a system proxy very easily, but when you want a custom proxy, like using it on Burp Suite, you have to start out from the command line with some arguments and... I've had issues with that in the past. So one of the main reasons that I started to bring in Insomnia was because, here's me doing Insomnia, I'm doing a simple request. It's not going through a proxy, you can see it over there. In order to go through a proxy, all I do is go into Preferences and put in my proxy details, enable it, put in the proxy details, that's it. I'm now going through a proxy. So I'll send that request, it goes through the proxy. I can see it in here, I can uh, resend the requests, I can mess about with the response, I can start using fuzzers. I don't have to come out the application, I don't have to start it with the command line, I can switch it back off again. So primarily, this was the main reason that I started using Insomnia. But there's a couple of other things that have kept me using it, and now I actually use it in combination with Postman. So I'll explain what I normally end up doing. So in Postman, I'll, I'll start testing, I'll build up a collection, I'll be using Postman as my main way through this, I'll start testing, then I'll start finding issues that I really want to dive into and explore in more detail and experiment with. At which point I end up moving over to uh, Insomnia. Now I can save a collection in Postman, export it and then import it into Insomnia, but what I generally end up doing is a much more hack approach. So I'll end up going over to the code in uh, Postman and generating a curl request. Here it's generated the curl request. Then I'll just copy and paste the whole thing. Over in Insomnia, I've got, an, I normally got an ad hoc request floating around. I usually have one in Postman as well, just where I can do anything I want. Then in the URL bar here in Insomnia, if I just paste in that curl request, it comes in almost perfectly. I mean, this, this is just so convenient. Because this is coming from Postman, I don't need this. So now I've got this request in here and I can start messing with it. Send that over, make sure it works. Oh, and the other thing, <laughs> so I pasted that into Insomnia. Let's check that it works. There we go. There's our nice formatted thing. Blah -de blah. And what's really useful about that is very often when you're testing an API, find the examples are written there in curl. So all I can do is take the example from curl and paste it into Insomnia and it's working. And you can kind of import curl through Postman by doing import and paste draw text. Sometimes it works well, sometimes it doesn't. I'm not going to do that here. But the feeding it through a proxy is massively important because at that point I'm going through a proxy and I can start when I'm messing with the requests, I'm storing all the stuff in here and I can see whether the changes that I'm making, I'm keeping a record and it's that record that's really important when I start doing a lot of exploration and experimentation and being able to switch the proxy on and off is massively useful. The other thing I find useful when I'm doing exploratory testing in here Bad request, that's why it's bad at 404. Let's get the result back. There we go. So the other thing that I can do in here is because this is JSON, we've got a little filter command down here. So I can actually do, let's see, lists. Yeah, there's all the lists. Give me all the things in the list and I just want the goods. So I can actually filter down the requests quite easily in here. And those, how many, three features, pretty much what I end up using this for, the ability to ad hoc switch it through a non-system proxy because Postman will hook into a system proxy like Fiddler, but that means it's picking up all the browser traffic and I have to filter down the proxy to zoom it, zoom in on the API testing. With uh, an ad hoc proxy, I just set up, point to where I'm going and we're, we're working straight off the bat. Then I can keep my requests in here. The ability to paste in curl so I can move from Postman or the API examples and the ability to filter this are the main reasons why I've started to bring in Insomnia into my exploratory test processing for REST APIs. So it's free, experiment with it, have a look. And if you're interested in these kind of videos where we look at tools and techniques for improving our software testing, remember to subscribe.